Well, let's just leave the apparatus floor again while the engineers play silly but Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot this was a family show. And let's watch as one of the younger test desk engineers recovers a ceased line. Will the excitement ever stop? Oh well. In another part of the ground floor, however, two engineers are busily engaged in some jumpering work. Ah, you Let's try somewhere else. Well, now and again, a subscriber will call at the exchange with a word of thanks for the outstanding services provided. This appears to be one such sub now. satisfied customer. Upstairs now a technician is puzzling over a tricky fault. Let's observe how he attends to it and how he calls on the assistance of another highly trained engineer. on its training program. Here, a senior technical officer is showing an upstart, <coughs> whoops, trainee, the art of spring adjusting. Our subscriber has returned. He must be full of praise for the excellent service he is receiving. Oh look, they're taking him to see the view. Turning inside, we see another engineer engrossed with a fault. Oh, now 
had her chance to witness the excellent first aid facility afforded by the post office. Oh no, don't come on, Eggo, please, please, only come up for an ingrate tongue, oh! Well, good blood, I'll have my uniform, man. This is the police. Who the hell is door there, there? She got a leg? Oh, hello, Sheila. Come with me. It is now 12 o'clock and the engineers break for lunch. Now, as we can see, however, the exchange is running perfectly, even though there are no staff in the exchange. So, uh, scrutinise the OBS board, and we can see that the OBS are extremely, um, well, are not bad in 445 exchange. Maybe now would be a good time to uh, visit Mr. Hoot and the Governor in his office. Uh, I see that uh, Mr. Hooten doesn't appear to be available at present. I suppose that's what they mean by the Governor being on the floor. Some services, however, must remain operative at all times. For example, the speaking clock. On the third stroke, it will be 2, 3, 5 and 10 seconds. Boop, boop, boop. On the third stroke, it will be... Oh, blame me, the clocks! Hey, hang on! Oh, strike a light! Something's gone wrong with the clocks! Oh, quick, call the fire brigade! At two o'clock, the engineers return from the pub, happy and jolly after a good session of drinking, but ready again to start the afternoon's business. Two stragglers, of course. And the subscriber returns yet again bit worse for wear this time I think. And look at that, they've given him a chance to sample the exchange cooking. Back in the exchange, the engineers are already hard, grafting away, even after being in the pub for the whole dinner time, nothing can stop this food. the subscribers back again. We just can't seem to keep him away today. He's been treated so well.
It's only an hour before the engineers give up for the day, but still the subscriber insists on coming back to the exchange. <laughs> It is now 4.30 and the governor will soon be going and there he goes tired but glad in his heart that another day has passed without his exchange falling to pieces It's now 4.35 and the exchange is, well, <laughs> deserted. Yeah. 